you go into at risk and click on distribution and select the, uh, the category special you can select a distribution known as the compound function which is the convolution convolution formula that i have shown shown you before here you have to specify two things well actually four because there are actually two more uh, optional the main ones are the frequency function the severity function and just as i mentioned before you can establish a deductible amount and a limit of pay of payment right so for example if i i want to you know keep the ones that are being proposed i can select the deductible amount to be coming from where from cell c3 and then i can define my limit for which is exactly the same thing as saying maximum paper loss to be coming from c4 right and of course i'm going to be uh, of course it doesn't make any sense in the graph because i'm not using the right distributions so what i'm going to do i'm going to click ok i'm just going to bring the formulas for example in the case of the first function which is coming for for frequency i can just use the frequency and that I calculated in cell B9. For example, that's one. And in the other case, I can just select the, the function that I have in here, the risk log norm. So I can do that. I can copy the formula and replace that in here as my second parameter. That's exactly what I'm doing. And there I got it. See that? So if I go back to the graph, this is what it looks like. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah, I, I, I could have actually changed the parameters within the window, but it would actually be harder to see what actually I was doing. So that's why I selected to, to accept the parameters that I had and change them myself afterwards. Uh, that's my own way of doing things. You may prefer to do it directly on the window. At the end, you can always come back and take a look at it, right? Which is nice. And just as I said before, be careful to consider absolute references if you are planning to copy that down, which is the case. So I'm going to be fixing with the dollar sign uh, the references for C3 and C4. And there you got it. I got my parameters. I got B9, which has to be changed when I copy that formula down. I'm doing it now. And there you got it. So now every time you press F9, you are getting a different graph associated to the community profit or loss, depending if the number is negative for the insurance company we're looking about. Now, what is going to be my profit? Well, my output here is going to be the present value of profits, considering you know the change that I made a while ago regarding the rate, the, the, the rate of interest. So I'm going to define as an output my present value of profit by clicking in the output button at the top. I'm going to do that, right? Now I will click OK. There you go. 